In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate speed in Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to learn how to slow down clips, how to speed up clips, how to do time remapping or time interpolation, and also how to create a freeze frame effect. I will try to make it as easy to understand and as basic for you as possible. So hope you're going to enjoy, hope you're gonna learn a lot from this and let's get right into it. So first of all, as you can see, I have my Premiere Pro pulled up right here. I have a new sequence, I have this clip right here, which is just a simple rolling shot of a car. And now I'm going to go ahead, select the part that I want to have on my timeline. So the way you can do that is you will preview it here in this window. You can press I on your keyboard to set the in point where you want the clip to begin. And you can set the out point by pressing O on your keyboard. And now you can just drag and drop this onto your timeline. And as you can see, now that clip is right there on my timeline. Now, the first thing we are going to learn is how to speed up and how to slow down your clips. So you have two options really. Number one, you can right click on your clip. You come here to speed slash duration, click on that. And here you can see you can set a speed percentage. So for example, if I wanted to speed up this clip, you can pr uh, put in, let's say 200%. So it's going to play it back uh, and set it to double the speed. If you put it at 400%, it would be, you know, four times just uh, regular speed and so on. And then you just press okay. And you can see now this, this clip is sped up. So it's uh, playing at double speed. So that's one way to do it. Another way to bring up this speed slash duration menu is by pressing command or control plus J on your keyboard and that is the shortcut for it and then it will bring up this menu as well that's one of the easiest ways to speed up your clips if you don't have that keyboard shortcut available for you then what you can do is come up here to the top come here to keyboard shortcuts and here in this little search bar you want to put in speed slash duration and you will find the shortcut that it is currently assigned to you here or you can also press here, X this, so get rid of that shortcut that it is currently set to and add a new one instead. In terms of actually slowing down your clips, it's pretty much the same process, right? You can just bring up this menu and pull it, put in, for example, 50%, and then it's going to play back at half speed, as you can see. Now, you can see that this is a little bit choppy because this is not a high frame rate clip. So my timeline is 24 frames per second. This clip is 29.97 frames per second so technically i could only put this at 80 percent speed for it to still look fluid when i play it back if you don't have a high frame rate clip but you still want to slow it down one thing you can try is when you set the speed here for example if i set this to 50 percent you can select optical flow here at time interpolation it's basically going to kind of like generate some extra frames between two frames automatically and then it should look pretty fluent now uh, this is going to, you know, task your computer a little bit. But if I would render this out uh, and, you know, we are going to be able to see a fluid feedback afterwards, it should look pretty decent. So as you can see, this is what we created. You can kind of tell that it's a little bit artificial, but a lot of times optical flow is, you know, still going to look way better than if you just have choppy footage. Now, here in the speed duration menu, you can also set your clip to reverse speed, which is basically like it suggests is just going to reverse the playback uh, on your timeline. Okay, now next up, I want to show you how to create a freeze frame effect, which is basically where we will hold out a single frame in this clip for a couple seconds or whatever it is. For example, that effect could be useful if you have a clip and you are trying to explain a certain thing that's happening on the screen. So you want that certain frame to hold for a few seconds. Maybe you can narrate over it or put some graphics there. Here's how you do it. You want to first put your playhead to where you want to have the frame freeze effect, you want to right click and then you want to click on this insert frame hold segment, right? And now, as you can see, it added this extra two second clip in between our clip. So it basically split it in two. And if I play it back, you can basically see now it holds this frame for two seconds and then continues from there. If you want to change the duration of how long uh, it's holding the certain frame, you can press command on your keyboard and then come here to the edge of that, um, you know, frame holder and then either make it longer by dragging it out or make it shorter by 
dragging it to the left side. So that is how easy it is to add like a frame freeze effect. I've seen a lot of people who would take a screenshot uh, with this button, export the frame and then put it back in the timeline. I think that's just so much more inefficient than this method. So I recommend you to use this one when you are editing. All right, next up, I'm going to show you how to create a speed ramp. So here are a couple examples of speed ramping. You can have a certain point of the same clip where it's in slow motion, then it would ramp up to you know a sped up clip maybe it can go back into slow motion and you can create some pretty cool effects and you know transitions with this effect or just in general make your footage look more unique so here is how to do it very very easily the first thing you want to make sure is that you extend out your video track like so so you want to come here to this little line and you know drag it up so you can clearly see what's going on on your screen to create this time remapping effect we want to right click on the selected clip and then we need to come all the way down here to show clip keyframes and here go to time remapping and speed and now as you can see it added this little white line across our entire clip and we are going to be able to use this to actually create this time remapping effect. So what you want to do is wherever you want the footage to change its speed, you want to add a point. So there are two uh, simple ways to add a keyframe or a point to your time remapping. One is to press command or control on your keyboard and just click there. And as you can see with this little blue marker, it added a, you know, a thing there. Now it basically split this clip into uh, two parts. And if I want to, I can drag this line up here to let's say 150%. And now this part of the clip is at you know, uh, that speed and then it goes back to regular speed. And you can also use the pen tool to add another point to your time remapping. So for example, if I add one here and I come back to my selection tool or I can also press V on my keyboard. And now if I want to, for example, make it slow motion here on the second uh, or third part, I can do that. And you can see now it goes into the slow motion. So from sped up to normal speed, and then it goes back into slow motion or I could also make this come back to like extra, you know, uh, fast. And if you want to make these speed ramps or kind of like speed changes more subtle, then what you can do is come here and you can actually kind of like ease this uh, little change. So just click here on the marker, drag it to one side and then it's going to make it a whole lot smoother and you can even zoom in a bit more and use this to change it to however you want to. So this way it's kind of creating this ramp effect and your speed is going to go from, you know, regular speed to fast in this case. A very cool way to use this effect is to, for example, if you have two clips, speed up at the end of uh, one of your clips and then on the second clip you want to have the footage sped up again and then go back to regular speed so you can create this speed ramp transition effect so i hope you guys found this video value packed and very actionable if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel for more and if you want to learn directly from me more about how to create content in premiere pro and photoshop and also how to get clients for social media as a freelancer or creative agency owner check out magnetic editing in the description below and i will see you guys in the next one.